Hey there, guys. So, just wanted to have a little conversation, I guess. So, uh, I'm sneaking up on 100 subscribers, and I really appreciate you guys um, coming to check out the videos and whatnot. So, started this, started doing some camping out videos. Uh, actually, I was just doing some stuff on Facebook for a while, and a couple friends were liking it, so I wanted to make a better experience, and now the channel's going. But one of the things that got me to want to get back outdoors, I had not um, done a lot of outdoor activity in a number of years, but I had a heart issue come up, and uh, I had to get a pacemaker put in, and I was like, well... I gotta get get to doing some things in life that I enjoy and one of the things that I always enjoyed was getting outdoors so obviously with the pacemaker things were going to be different than what they were 10 years ago I used to do lots of hunting and fishing and just spending a ton of time out, outdoors uh, four wheeling and hiking and you know just checking out all the different animal signs and things like that super super busy outdoors and that's what I like to do so once I had the pacemaker put in, I decided I need to get back outdoors. I need to start enjoying life again. Uh, get back into things I, I like before it's too dang late to do it. So uh, anyways, so I've been feeling pretty good over the last couple of years and been pretty busy. A couple of weeks ago, I did a maybe a week or it might have been only a week ago. I don't know, whatever. I did a walk in the woods. It was about a mile walk. And man, I was just hammered, exhausted. I couldn't feel what was going on. I just didn't feel right at all. So anyways, um, I went back out on the road, worked for a couple weeks, and uh, get back home, and there's a letter from the cardiologist saying, <laughs> you've been having some, uh, I don't know, AFib, or, or I don't know how to say the proper word, articular fibrillation, something. Atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation. So anyways, um, so I got the pacemaker and that controls the bottom part of my heart and now I got something going on with the top part. The scary thing about that, my dad is 21 years older than me and he has been suffering with this for the last couple of years and his health just been declining <laughs> and getting harder and harder for him to do things. So, needless to say, got me a little worried, got me a little scared. Um, and when I did that walk <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, I was just feeling so exhausted, I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. But anyways, it is what it is, right? So, uh, hard to be out in a truck when um, you're nervous about what's going on, right? Pretty, pretty tough pretty tough to be gone. And I was hoping, uh, especially as this channel's been growing, I'm a long way from being monetized. I'm a long way from being able to make any money with this and, and uh, whatnot. But uh, over the last few years, I've greatly reduced the debt. So if I could get this thing going uh, to a point, it kind of been my hope the last couple of months, actually. It's like, holy cow, we're seeing some things happen with the channel. It's kind of exciting. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue trucking or, or not at this point yet. i got to have to go see the doctor and see what's going on exactly and seeing if I'll be the hold my CDL, um, but that makes no, <laughs> two issues with my heart, and I'm not, not an old guy, I mean, I look old, <laughs> but I'm not that old, 51, or two, or something like that, anyways, um, yeah, sort of, to say the least, I'm feeling a little uh, nervous, feeling a little scared. The other night we were out, my wife goes out with me in the truck, and we were parked at a rest stop, and I just had been telling her the last couple weeks, I'm like, I just, I, have, I haven't been feeling right. 
And uh, a couple a couple of nights ago, we were at this rest stop, spending the night, and I had to get up and go use the restroom. And it was not a far walk, maybe 50 yards, 100 yards. I mean, not not far at all. Nothing that would ever even slow me down. The time I got to the building, I was just feeling exhausted, like just unbelievable. So by the time I got back to the truck, I was uh, scared, scared. So anyways, I appreciate your guys' support. I'm going to keep on uh, doing what I can, but I think you know, when I talked a couple weeks ago about trying to get on longer walks and trying to get out deeper in the woods and you know, I might have to stick to car and motorcycle, snowmobile, and not not anything too crazy, which just sucks. Um, yeah, we'll just see how things go. I just really appreciate your guys' support. And uh, I'm just feeling a little scared. I'm not going to lie. Um Nervous, scared. I've been seeing uh, how this um, AFib, is, AFib has affected my dad the last couple of years. <laughs> I'm 21 years younger than he is. I hate to see what he's going through, and I don't, <clears throat> I don't want to have to be going through that at this age. I'm way too young. Lots of life. I should have lots of life, lots of time to uh, get things done. So, anyways, I appreciate you guys. I just wanted to talk because I'm just feeling stressed and scared and nervous. I want to cry and scream and yell. I want to throw up. It's got a lot of stuff going on inside right now. So. <coughs> Anyways, guys, I appreciate you. Keep hanging in there with me. And uh, we're going to keep doing what we can do. <laughs> we're going to keep moving forward. There I look, have I been looking at the wrong end of the camera this whole time? Maybe I have, guys. <laughs> I got to check this out before I post this. I might, oh, God, whatever. If I looked at the wrong side of the camera and I'm looking off to the side of you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's fine. We'll see. All right. Talk to you guys later. That's what you got to expect from me. Things aren't going to be perfect. All right. Bye.